Bull. Gay? What's up, Taurus? What's up, baby? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a bull for the month of June 2019? Are you guys in this space of really reflecting? Really kind of going back and assessing how far you've come and the things that's looking real, real familiar. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. This is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, boo. I cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing because me, I'm going to do that. If this is your first time to my channel, y'all, and you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. We'll be dysfunctional. <laughs> we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We evolve. We enlighten, okay? Posy vibes only this way, okay? All the hate and shit, the mean, negative comments telling me how to read my damn card. Look here, that way. Okay, we not with it. Not with it. To the returning subscribers, familia, what's popping? How did May treat you? How are you guys enjoying Gemini season? Hmm. 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 <laughs> You guys, it's a general. It may or may not resonate with everybody. You guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. I truly does. You guys, um, if you need a personal, that information can be found within the description box below. Now, let's get on here and get on into it with these good old bull game intuitive messages or whatever or whatnot. Okay. For Taurus, what you guys got? What's memories? Mirroring, broken hearted, karmic ties, green light, victimhood, deceit, blockage, ancestral ties, unexpected pregnancy, star seed, inner turmoil, divine intervention, shadow self, sudden wealth, new home, surprise, gossip. Haters exposed, new car, spectrum of love, solid moves, past life, legal documents, hidden intentions, closing, business loans, narcissism, mental issues, faded love, just move. Okay, Taurus, let's let's <laughs> let's talk about it. Okay. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the eight of spades, okay? So we are focusing on movement forward, move progression, progression, momentum, okay? My bulls, my bulls, this for the month of June, a lot of you all may be receiving some type of hidden information, esoteric insight, some type of knowledge, or some type of wayward forward from your ancestors through your dream space, okay? Some of you all may be taking things that Maybe taking essential pieces of information from here, there, a little bit of everywhere from your dream space, from your subconscious when you're meditating, uh, from uh, conversations that you have in your external people. And you guys are trying to use as well as kind of combust all of those elements and aspects in order to plan your movement forward, okay? For some of you all, this is about abundance. Some of you guys are also connecting with some type of sacred, uh, sacred geometric symbols. And some of you all... Some of y'all are being used as channels. Like some of you guys are vessels. You have the gift of persuasion. And for some of you all, you're extremely intuitive. However, you sit on this hidden knowledge, but spirit is saying no more, Taurus. It's a part of your life path. It's a part of the, it's about you sharing that, uh, sharing that knowledge. For some of you all, this is a tie, this is tied to like occult matters. Some of you all, you're manifesting, um, I don't know why I'm hearing concoction. Some of you guys may also be putting together some type of love potions or some type of body oil. Some of you guys may want to uh, combust. Some of you guys also be making, I'm hearing reversal spells. Okay, so some of you guys could also be focusing on um, or, or wanting to go into business doing reversal spells, but maybe you're afraid of how your business will be considered if your business will be considered primarily surrounding witchcraft and you just don't want that damn title. Uh, for some of you all, this has to do with... Um, a but okay for some of you all 
you it's like thought word action some of you guys need to really watch your thoughts and watch your words during this time because for some of you all you're speaking defeat so you're experiencing these things within your internal you need to shift and reprogram your subconscious because there's a, there, there's this energy that i'm getting on having the knowledge having this all-knowing however not having the confidence in order to move forward some of y'all may be also seeing um pelicans or swans during this time that they're going to give you some type of confirmation to what it is to an answer that you've been seeking okay and for some of you all some of you all some of y'all have the gift of premonition and visions some of you all are going to see hmm okay spirits say some of y'all gonna see the devil for who they is For some of you all, some of y'all could be, um, some of you guys could be coming to terms around some type of father issue or issues surrounding a father. You could also be dealing with the child's father during this time, but it's about structure. This is about taking charge. This is about the confidence. This is about taking leadership. This is not about staying in a stone age. Stone age. So some of you guys could also, what, what could be preventing something from moving forward? This could also, this could have to do with love, entrepreneurship, um, spiritual abundance. For some of you all, it's your belief system and you're kind of tied to traditional ways of doing things. So for some of you all, see yeah, again, there's this all knowing. Some of y'all really need to get out and connect with nature, maple trees to be exact, okay? Not pretty sure why well, not sure why they are really <laughs> on my ass about these tree types, but I'm going with it, okay? Because I don't I don't know anything about it. The spirit gives me the information. I'm also a channel. This is how you channel. So we roll it through it, okay? Taurus. Some of you all could also be dealing with someone. Some of you guys need to break free from some type of judgment around like the father figure of your life. Some of you guys are living your life based on the validation of another person. This could be tied to like some type of like the structure around your father figure. Some of you guys didn't have a father to raise you or didn't have a father there present uh, when it came. Some of you guys could have physically lost your father. My condolences. But some of you all could have also just overall have needed some type of validation from your father because of the because of the disconnection with your father so if your father is here there's possibly an um some of y'all could also be there's a chance to forgive some type of father figure as well and some of you all the hidden knowledge is some of you guys are being placed in catalytic situations or there was some type of catalytic situation to remove you from a cycle because you have some type of um ancestral mission some of you guys is like you're the chosen one but i'm hearing the chosen one Taurus, you're the chosen one okay so for some of you all this is about breaking ancestral ties ancestral cycles and for some of you all this is all about fertility okay some of y'all have a major responsibility to birth the star seed so the the, the energy of uh, energy of the Yes, the energy of fertility is around you. So if your ass don't want to get pregnant, okay, wrap it up, strap it up, put them cookies in the bag, okay, put the raincoat on, whatever, whatever fun way you can say strap it up, because <laughs> I ran out a lot of them. My country ass usually got a whole bag full of them, but I ran out, Taurus, dang, I ran out. Some of you all may also be, um, some of y'all may be getting into gardening during this time. Or there's some type of revelation that you will have while you're gardening. Some of you all may also be focused on um, taking care, like taking care of your community. Some of you all also may be volunteering during the volunteering during this time in your community with some type of like trash pickup, taking care of the environment. The more you look, the more you bless Mother Gaia, the more she bless you back. Others of you, some of y'all may be seeing white rabbits. These rabbits are signifying not only not only um, fertility, but there's also this confidence, this youthful energy. Some of you are also maybe seeing white butterflies. And some of you Taurus ladies may want to dye your hair red during this time. Somebody going to be dyeing their hair red. Somebody thinking about a honey blonde color or like a bronzish, a bronzes. I'm seeing magenta. Someone is also wanting to dye their hair like a... Um, like a honey blonde, somebody has some highlights you want to cut your hair. Go ahead, Miss Girl. This shit looks good. Somebody getting some little body quiet hair in their head. I don't know how I don't wear too much weave, y'all, so I don't know what kind of hair it is, but it's body quiet. Let's see my flip. You gotta flip it like this. Okay, let me practice with this. You gotta flip it like this. Like that. Stuff that kind of that kind of hair. Okay? Body quiet. Okay. Others of you Others of you are wanting to balance some type of situation out with the family. Well, there is some situation that you could have walked away from that it is going to be coming back to you with some type of balance needed 
and it's going to force you to make a decision as far as movement, okay? And ultimately, the decision is yours, baby. The power, the the choice, and this is about walking through the choice of the choice of creating your own reality, baby. For some of you all, you've already gone through the path of being sad. Not standing in your truth, not standing in your own autonomy. This is also about not preventing other people from standing in their own autonomy based on your perception of your or your projection of how what happiness should look like on the outside of, of you. OK, and this could even be tied to your partner, but somebody there is something that is really there's a there's an option to renew a situation. Or to just can just completely that damn London bridge file down, burn it damn down, and to reconcile with the situation that'll bring you more balance. And for some of you all, some of y'all need to fertilize your grass. There's a there's a energy of like being cautious about uh, regarding insect bites. Okay, some of you could also be wanting to move toward the path of like some of y'all are jury makers. Some of you all there is abundance, you all in. Some of you all are finding some type of, you may be being given something by a family member. This could be something that is extremely valuable. It holds a lot of, holds a lot of wisdom like energy with it, but it also holds a lot of, some of you guys are going to receive some type of belonging. For some of y'all, it's a bracelet. For some of you all, this could also be some type of necklace or some type of neck piece. For some of you all, this could also have to do with um, some of y'all are going to receive something, some type of um, item. OK, this could be I don't I see it, it could be monetary as well. This could also uh, be giving you the help in which you need for things to for you to fall in alignment with the things around you that is matching you abundance, baby. And for some of you all, this has to do with. There is some type of artifact that you're going to receive either from an uncle. This could also be from an aunt, a great grandmother, I'm hearing. But some of you all, um, hmm. this could also be, y'all, y'all dog could find something in the backyard. It looks like a gold coin or some type of gold coins or a set of keys. Y'all, these things hold so much energy and it's going to bring you some sort of abundance okay some of y'all could also be seeing a lot of frogs during this time symbolizing the same thing abundance y'all there's a focus on you all the the heart chakra and the throat chakra speak your damn mind speak your truth towards speak the things that truly matter to you speak up for yourself some of you all i'm feeling the energy of being very very anxiety feeling this is about saying what the hell matters to you because you're so worried about how it's going to affect other people and spirit is saying caskets don't come up on beds and for some of you you're going to be mad at yourself later on going later on in the month because you're trying to worry about another person who still ain't got over what the hell happened five ten years ago in their damn life and they taking that shit out on you because they don't have a healthy release of dealing with their own emotions and some of y'all are dealing with someone who got mental issues this is why you losing. So is it willing? Is it worth losing your peace? Is it worth losing your happiness? Is it worth losing the abundance and the faded life that is meant for you because another motherfucker can't eat at your table? Think about it. Let's rock. Some of you all are really needing to let go of what, what once was in order to move forward. Turn your pain into power, baby, because it's going to bring you prosperity later. The three P's. Pain, power, okay, four of them, perseverance and prosperity. They all go together. OK, so let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. And some of y'all got a, um, a chance to release and forgive a situation with information that is given to you during this time. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers in love for the month of June? What messages do you have? What can they expect in love? For some of you all, again, fulfillment, moving towards uh, some type of renewal or rebuilding or some type of structure to a family situation. You guys are mostly focused on family during this time. Family, abundance, legacies, and getting to the bottom of things. For some of you all, some of y'all could be drinking or overindulging in some sort of alcohol or something that is going to have you out of your damn body during this time instead of actually wanting to stand in your own damn autonomy. Some of you guys are overindulging because you feel as if it's going to numb the pain or put you in this space where you can make a decision clearly, but it's only putting you deeper and deeper in this place of confusion. 
Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have a family with this person. For some of you all, this person could be younger than you, or there could be some type of immaturity around the way that they love. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an immature uh, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person got addiction issues, okay? We need to go ahead and get to the bottom of things and go ahead and get to the truth and the core of the matter. And some of you guys... Yeah, some of you guys are in your head, you're confused. You're you're not really sure about moving forward and offering a new beginning, possibly to a fire sign here with this damn ace of one, but this could also be just some type of business move, some type of investment, okay? Something that you're passionate about. For some of you all, some of y'all, somebody gonna tell you the truth. Some of y'all may get a damn drunk text or somebody believe one thing my papa said, believe that believe a man, a drunk man tells no tales, baby. Somebody some you might get some information from someone when they're drunk and you're just gonna be sitting. I see Taurus sitting here looking like, Oh, okay, motherfucker, that's really how you feel, huh? Mm -hmm, okay, we're gonna laugh at it right now. Huh? But tomorrow when my motherfucking bags is packing them about this bitch, <laughs> you just <laughs> they can still keep that same energy, okay? Yeah. Some of you all could be um either reaching out possibly to uh possibly an Aries, a Cancer, a Libra, uh Capricorn, or communicating. Someone could also be communicating to someone or their partner during this time that they drink too damn much, that they think that they have a problem. And I feel like this person is gonna go in this whole disillusionment mode, okay? Taurus, I feel that you're in this energy of just really focusing on yourself. Some of you guys are planning, you're planning something. Hmm. Some of you guys feel as if you're not getting your wish in a situation. For some of you all, you feel abandoned or forgotten about or let go of or like you feel as if someone don't care. Okay. Some of you guys could actually be walking away from a situation with an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel that you wanted to put off. I feel as if there's been many attempts to try to put the work in, try to manifest something with this person. But some of y'all walking away from somebody because they drink too damn much and it's affecting your finance. It's affecting your peace and it's affecting your happiness. And for some of you all, you possibly some of y'all. OK. Some of y'all could also be cutting off an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or some someone could be uh somebody could be telling you that they're they're moving on because you don't have enough. So someone's trying to make you feel as if you're not enough. But there is some type of sharp communication that is um yeah, and it has to do with the commitment, okay? So someone could yeah. So some of you guys could also be charging in very fast to offer a commitment or someone's charging in very fast to you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. They want to offer this commitment. I feel like either you or this other person felt left out in the past. Okay? Yeah. And there is a lot of love here, okay? And some of you guys are wanting to renew a situation or wanting to renew your vows or renew your marriage or your commitment, possibly with a um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some of you all, commitment is on the table as far as actually extending, taking your relationship to a whole nother level. Some of you guys are moving towards engagement, okay? And for some of you all, some of y'all want to express your love to a fire sign. And for some of you all, there's some type of apology coming possibly from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys could have also uh, cut off a situation possibly with the Libra that you felt stuck in in order to manifest abundance, okay? And it looks damn good in order to do it in doing so, all right? So let's get it. Some of you guys could also be starting something new with the Libra. Some of y'all have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like... This person feels trapped in a situation. They're watching you. They stalking you, Taurus. They want to come in. They want to know. The, and they, they, they're, it's like they're looking for the perfect time to come in. It's like as soon as you find your balance, you find your flow. Then here come this motherfucker talking all the stuff that you wanted them to say back in the G before you left their ass. And it sounded real good. So it's kind of putting you in this state, in this space of confusion. You're not knowing what to do. Some of you guys are reconciling with someone who you have kids with as well. Yeah. For some of you all, you need to make a decision on if you're going to stay stay with someone, or if you're going to stay with someone, or you're going to move forward. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here with the Five of Pentacles? Nine of Cups in reverse, two cards fail. Okay, so I have the Ten of Swords, and with Ten of Swords, the Ten of uh, Diamonds, and the Three of Diamonds. So some of you guys are cutting off somebody. You're moving away from someone due to third parties. Somebody could have also gave, given you the reason... Someone could have given you the explanation or could be giving you the explanation of the reason why they put you in the third party is due to finances. Somebody out here, 
<laughs> on the side prostituting. Okay. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> Woo, this is interesting. Why is the hangman here? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Pisces as well. Another Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. Hell, everybody here. Very, very old Capricorn Taurus. Yeah. Some of you guys are passionate about a situation or you feel as if it's the passion in the situation that is keeping you stuck. Or some of you guys may feel trapped in a situation, possibly or trapped in working on a situation, possibly by a fire sign. Yeah, this could have to do with pregnancy for some of you all, and this could also have to do with some type of asset tie. But there is getting ready to be a tile moment in the month of June that is going to shake up some type of structure with some type of news that's coming in. And some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here with the Two of Pentacles? Yeah. For some of y'all, you could be dealing with an earth sign, a water sign, fire sign. They could be juggling you in a water sign or you in another fire sign. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here with the King of Wands? Yeah. For some of you all, this is about victoriously moving forward, possibly towards a fire sign. Making a decision to cut something off and leave something in the past. Why is the Justice card here? Some of you guys, this is about, if, if you're dealing with some type of uh, court, any type of like court documents, inheritance, wills, um, any type of unemployment, any type of legalities, justice is showing upward, showing up in the upright, it is going to be in your favor. But some of you all, this is about good karma, receiving good karma or positive harvest in love after choosing to make, to jump off the damn cliff, off the fear of the unknown and choose to fix the situation, okay? For some of you all, yeah. For some of you all, there's a tower moment for another person because this person was possibly depending on you financially or you the other person. For others of you, this could have been some type of form of manipulation into where you're just jumping off the damn cliff. Fuck it, I will no longer be manipulated into staying in the situation that I'm not happy with being in. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Who is this Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Hmm. Yeah. Someone wants to make an offer towards... A commitment in love with the Ace of Hearts. Some of you all, this is an offer to someone to start over. Why is the Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Swords? Why is the Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Swords? Okay, I got the Two of Clubs and the Seven of Clubs. So someone wants to put in the work here, start a new beginning, put in the work here, be honest about what didn't work right in the past. In order to have something prosperous move forward in the future, okay? I definitely feel like some of you all are standing your ground. You're standing your ground. You're setting up clear boundaries with people. You're in this space of working on yourself, working on your finances, and continuously building, okay? So, Spirit, what's your best advice for my bull gang? What's your best advice and love for Taurus for the month of June? What's the best advice and love for Taurus in the month of June? Yeah, focus on what it is that you're trying to manifest, okay? For some of you all, you could be trying to manifest an Aquarian, okay? And Spirit wants you to also move away from this space of anxiety and focusing on what did not work or what did, what is not going on in your favor or what did not work in the past, what another person did in the past, especially if this is involving a reconciliation, okay? For some of you all... Some of you all, in order to have the reconciliation go positive, but some of y'all this involves someone from your past or someone from a past life, okay? I do see an offer being made. For some of you all, this could, there could be reconciliation involving children, okay? But for some of you all, this is about you not getting caught in to, again, caught up in the space of what, who did what, what went wrong, and just focusing on the actual blessing here, because there is a blessing. I feel like there's a lesson tied in with this blessing, Taurus, but the outcome of it is happiness and what it is that you're manifesting. However, you're going to have to leave some things, emotions, feelings, um, concerns in the past. They can't move forward with you, even people. Situations, jobs, circumstances, all the cups are about emotions. So I feel like this is about feelings or fears in the past. Okay? So y'all let me know how that resonates, y'all. That was the tea, honey. All right? This, <laughs> y'all, this reading was the tea. I just feel some damn Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid and, and, and sweet sugar tea. Diabetic. Oh, let me not say that. Because I'm working on this little smart ass mouth. If I offended my diabetic people, I apologize. 
but this shit here sweet sweet okay so y'all y'all let me know how this resonates um please comment in the comment section um y'all share with me fam because this is oof this is the tea, all right? If you need the person with that information, can be found within the description. I love you very, very much. You guys, get your views up for the time that I'm picking one sign of every element to go live with mid-month. Everybody else's the videos are going to be put together, um, but four signs is going live. The views and, and the signs go live depends on y'all. So share it with a friend, and I love y'all a long time. Mm. Namaste, my babies.